Hello everybody, I wanted to do a quick demo for you to talk about this Esri map widget that I created. And I also put an update set together, so if anybody wants to use it, just go to the comments below, and you'll see in the description I put a link to a Google Drive where you can download the update set. So let me demo it real quick, and then I'll talk a little bit about what it does and, and what you'll need to tweak once you put the update set in. And so I installed this, and the first thing it'll do when you go to a page, when you go to any of the catalog items or record producers that have this widget on there, what it'll do is it'll first check to see if it can access your location. So if you're on a mobile device, it should be able to access your location. In my case, it doesn't, so it brings up a blank address. Now, what I can do from here is two different things. Is one, I can go ahead and search on the map if I type in a location, it'll look up and it'll do a reverse geocode in the location that I put in the code that I'm going to show you in a little bit. And that fills in your address block here. Also behind the scenes, there's a lat long variable and it fills in the lat long for that address as well. And okay, and all that gets passed back when I go ahead and submit the record producer. Now what I could also do is I can zoom in or do whatever I want on these maps and I can click on the location and it'll also reset my location and then reset it in the address. And of course, the lat long that's behind the scenes. So when I go ahead and submit this, it's gonna submit that request and I'll be able to go ahead and pull that request up. And then I, I would be able to see if it's a catalog item, of course, that those variables are included with the catalog item. All right, so that's a really quick demo and it, it works really good for doing location setting because you don't even really need to use this address field. You can hide this address field because everything is done inside the map itself. All right, so it'll three different ways to find your location. One, locate me. Two, this little search block up in the window that's gonna do re reverse geocode. And three, just zoom in on the map and click somewhere and it's gonna pull that address for you. Now what I did be behind the scenes is I said, let's look up this location and if it matches one in my location table in ServiceNow, then go ahead and pull it back as a reference. If it doesn't match, this will actually create the record for me. That's not included in this variable set though. All right, so basically what I'm gonna give you in the update set, again, the link is below in the description of this video, but what you'll see in the update set is you're gonna get two things. So the first thing you're gonna get is you're gonna get a variable set, and the variable set is called map locator. In that map locator variable set, there's gonna be a macro, and that's what's gonna run the map. It's gonna run a widget, and I'll show you the widget. You're also gonna have a location, which gives you that long field, which gives you the street address, the city, the zip code, the state, the zip code, and then the country. So you can edit that if you want to. It also gives you the lat and the long, and all those get populated every time I click on a location on the map or search the map and change that location. And the other thing, that's in here is gonna be a service portal widget. So this is actually the widget, it's called the Esri map leaflet widget that's getting called in that macro for that variable set. All right, a couple of things you wanna look at in this leaflet is one, I'm including an API key. This will last for a little while, but if the map doesn't work, you'll need to go ahead and put that API key in there. If you don't have an API key for Esri, you can go to developers.arcgis.com, register for your own account, and you can pull that API key out. Now again, this API key that I'm doing with the video will last for about a month, and then that's probably gonna give you an error after that. So you wanna put your own API key in this server script as quickly as you can. The other thing you wanna change in the client controller, this lat long is the center of the, the map that I'm using. So you'll notice when I did that type ahead search, it looked up addresses in Santa Monica. And the reason is because this is a lat long for Santa Monica. And if I go down and I look at the code a little bit down further, you'll see down here, this is my search control. So this is my reverse geocode that looks up the addresses in that search box. And here it's using my town center lat, my town center long. So what you'll wanna do is you'll wanna get the center of the location you're searching for and put that in here so that it knows when I do the reverse geocode to look around this area. It doesn't start pulling up locations from Spain if I'm in California, right? And uh, the, the obvious uh, option here would be just to go ahead and comment these out. If 
you don't care about searching anywhere in the world, just go ahead and take the nearby section out of this search control. Other than that, what it's doing here, as you'll see at the bottom, after we go through and render the Esri map, I'm pulling the Latin long, the final location that was selected, and I'm pushing those back into ServiceNow fields. Okay, so this field won't actually be in there. It's just in there on my instance. So it's gonna populate the lat, the long, and the location. And again, you can use those to populate your CMN location table. All right, so lastly, I did put it on the Google Drive. So one more time, it is in the description. Go ahead and pull it down and check it out and keep an eye on this API key in, in case it doesn't work for you one time. That's it. Thank you very much. I hope you find this useful and I'd really appreciate any comments in the YouTube video below. Thank you, everybody.